So let's have a look at the key principles of how you return serve. To counter the amount of spin that's on the ball, we need to use our bat like a rudder. So we need to change the angle of our bat. The real trick is to know how much we need to change the angle to get the ball back where we want it. Let's look at the example of a side spin serve and we're going to use this pencil as a tool. So if the ball is heading out in the direction of the pencil, what I need to do is use the bat like a rudder and turn it so that now the pencil is pointing exactly where I want the ball to go. And that leaves my bat in the right position to get the ball back onto the table. So this same principle applies to all different types of spins. So with backspin, the ball's going to go down towards the table. So now what I need to do is to tilt that pencil up so that it's going over the net. And that's the angle we need to return backspin. Similarly, if the ball has topspin on the ball and wants to head up, I need to turn my bat over so that now the pencil is pointing where I want the ball to go. So to return topspin, we need to have the bat angled over the ball. So again, this applies to combinations of spins, side spin and back spin, side spin and top spin. So we saw when Jeff was serving earlier and it had side spin and back spin, the ball was heading down and to your left. So now let's have a look at what angle we need on our bat to get that pencil pointing where we want the ball. So you can see that now my bat is facing up and to the side to counter the side spin and the back spin. And the same applies for top spin and side spin. So when the ball hits my bat with top spin and side spin, that's the angle it wants to go off at. So now let's look at how we can point that pencil back towards where we want the ball to go. And now we have our bat facing down and to the side to counter both the side spin and the top spin. So let's have a look at the effect of a back spin and side spin serve. So here it goes down and to the side. So what I need to do is tilt my bat up and face it to the other side to counter both the back spin and the side spin. So with our pencil, Let's have a look. It was going down and to the side, so I need to tilt my bat up and to the other side so that the pencil's pointing in the right direction. And that's the angle that I need to return the backspin side spin serve. So the side spin top spin serve is going to go up and to your left. So what I need to do now is I need to turn my bat down and to your right. And now the ball goes back to the direction I want it to. So with the top spin side spin serve, the ball is going to go up and to your left. So what I need to do is to get that pencil pointing where I want the ball to go. And that leaves my bat facing to your right and slightly over the ball to counter the top spin and the side spin. So the tomahawk serve goes off and to your right when it hits my bat. So what I need to do now is to change the angle so that I can get the ball back onto the table. So the tomahawk serve is going off to the side. I need to change the angle so that now the pencil is pointing straight back to where I want the ball to go. And that's the angle that I need.
Another key principle is to make sure that you're watching the angle of the bat at the point of contact. Even though there are a wide range of serves, have a look at this. If I do the reverse pendulum serve, this is the angle of my bat. Now let's have a look at keeping the bat in exactly the same position, but now I'm going to do the backhand serve. You'll notice that the bat's doing exactly the same thing, so it's generating the same spin. If you're unsure of what type of spins on the serve, a good thing to do is to aim for the middle of the table. That way you've got a bit of margin for error on your returns. As you get more advanced, what you should do is aim for a much smaller spot. So rather than just aiming for the middle of the table, pick out a small spot on the other end that you're aiming for. I just use a little target during practice. In a match situation, you can visualise the spot that you're aiming for. By aiming at a small spot, your focus becomes a bit narrower and that tends to increase your accuracy. So also key for returning serves is to really get a focus on the ball. So by focusing on the ball, we'll start to see the trajectory of the ball and the flight of the ball. So this gives us a few clues. Now, it isn't an easy thing to do, but it's something that you will start to get with experience. So the flight of the ball will tell us a little bit about the spin. So certainly if the ball's curving in the air, we know that, that there's some side spin on the ball. You can also see the ball dipping a little bit with a bit of experience. That means that the ball has top spin on the ball. If the ball tends to float through a little bit more, it means that there's some backspin on the ball. So focusing on the ball, watching the ball really carefully will start to give us some of these clues. Another cue that you will get is by the sound of the bat on the ball. So if you just listen to these two carefully, this is a flat contact and a soft contact. Flat, soft. So the louder sound means that there's less spin on the ball. The softer brushing sound means that there's more spin on the ball. Again, something that you can start to pick up by listening really carefully. Now watching the ball doesn't only mean watch the ball as it's coming towards you. A really critical part of learning is to make sure that you're watching the ball after it leaves your bat so that you see exactly what the effect of the spin was. So if you watch the ball go off the side of the table, then you know that there was some more side spin on the ball than you expected. Similarly, if the ball goes shooting into the net, you need to make sure you're watching that carefully. Watch exactly where the ball goes after you hit the ball because that gives you better clues as to the amount of spin that was on the ball. So I always say that with returning there's no serve in the world that anyone can do to you if they do the same serve 10 times that you can't return by the 10th time. So if the best server in the world comes out there and serves to you 10 times, if the first one shoots off at right angles, then as long as you're watching and seeing the effect and understand the spin and the effects of the spin, then you can start to adjust. So if the first one shoots off there, you're going to change the angle of your bat. Eventually, you're going to start to get the ball closer to the table. And as I said, within 10 turns, you will get the ball back on the table. So each time you play someone with really great serves, it's really important that you work really hard at getting the ball back on the table and learn from your mistakes. You will make mistakes. The best players in the world still make mistakes off the return of serve. So as long as you're watching and seeing where the ball's going, you'll start to adjust. Returning serve is a lot about your experience. It's about having seen that picture before, understanding what spins on the ball and then being able to make the small adjustments so that you can start to get the ball back on the table. When returning serve, it's important to have a really soft and relaxed grip. 
When I'm returning serve, okay, I can take the bat out of my hand that easily. Why is this important? Because if you've got a really strong grip on your bat, this now becomes like a brick wall. So all the spin takes effect and zips out quickly. But if your hand is relaxed and soft, your bat then acts more like a sponge and absorbs some of the spin, which makes it a little bit easier for you to control the ball back. So forget that throttle grip, just keep it nice and relaxed and soft hands. The other thing that soft hands will allow you to do is just make the small adjustments. Again, if your hand is really tight and your grip's tight, it's hard to make the small adjustments. Soft hands allow you to do that a lot easier. Players often tell me that their opponents have been serving the ball where it's snaking one way and the other way with the one serve. It can't happen. Watch the ball carefully and you'll see that it can only curve one way on a serve. So it'll either curve this way or it'll curve the other way and it'll have some dip or it'll slide through with backspin. So there's only one spin that a player can put on the serve. Watch it carefully and you'll see it. 